Hello everybody, how's it going? Yeah, it's the Wombat! Hey! Happy Vlogmas Day everybody! This is day number number 11. I'm making up, this is a makeup day. I know some of you guys are getting video games as gifts for yourself or somebody in your family or whatever. Believe it or not, we had video games when I was a kid, too. See, our video games, the first game system that I had, I actually shared with my brother. We got it for Christmas, and it was the Atari 2600. It was a plastic console about so big, and it had wood grain on there, and it had cartridges, and we had a A-position joystick with a red button. And then you had these little paddles where you turn the knob for playing Pong. You might have seen Pong with the bar that, like, maybe hand straight goes up and down. There's a little square. Bink! Bink, bink! And you could, like, hit it and it'd make it go crazy. See, it was like tennis, kind of, is what it was. And then we had a really awesome game called Pac-Man. And because the technology wasn't the greatest, our Pac-Man look like this he was like kind of diamond square shape and when you eat the dots he's all nom, 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 nom. and when he goes down he's all nom, 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 nom. back up nom, nom, nom. backwards nom, 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 nom. and he'd always stay in the same position he wouldn't follow the dots like you think he would it was just something that was moving along and it was we knew he wasn't really eating the dots when he'd go over and he'd disappear and stuff and we were so excited we could play Pac-Man just like at the arcade. Even though the arcade one looked more like this as compared to this. Huge difference. But the technology wasn't there at the time. So then later, we got better technology. This guy, he was gone with the wind. And then we had this guy. And they'd follow the dots. And then have other stuff. And then even better than that, they improved on that. And they had Miss Pac-Man. And the only way you could tell a difference, and this is a bad artist rendering, was there was eyelashes <laughs> added on, and a bow, and lipstick. And I think she might have had like a red dot or a beauty mark or something that was just like a beep, just a dot. And the same thing. And she was she would move a little bit better than the other one. Again, keeping up with technology. And I know video games have gotten so, <coughs> excuse me, so realistic these days that sometimes it's actually dangerous because people get so used to doing things in video games where you have something like a hand. I don't have a, a white thing, but you know, a hand and you click on it and you move it with your mouse and the hand's like, going over stuff and when you want to pick something up you click it and it goes and it picks up something like let me just show you real quick <laughs> again this is just kind of live spur of the moment so you're all okay move the hand uh, okay pick up uh, finger ease and you click the button it goes and it like sticks to it and it's like you can see it's like I'm holding it with my thumb but it goes and it moves it over and you do like if you wanted to Put this stuff, this is made for a guitar, so if you wanted to get the guitar, you'd see the image of the guitar and it'd go, but the lid would never come off. Nowadays, I guess they make it a little bit better, but some of the video games is like, you click your hand. The reason I'm bringing that up is <coughs> a guy that I know, as an adult, in real life, was using, check this out. was using one of these. This is a drill. He was attempting to install a power strip into the wall. No, he didn't get electrocuted, if that's what you're thinking, but surprisingly he didn't. What he did was he got up there, made his marks, put the bit in there. I don't have a bit in there, but there's a bit of twisty thing. You guys know what bits are. And he goes, and then he's like, It wouldn't come out of the wall. So he seriously phoned a friend, 
to come over and there's a button he goes you see this button right here you have this button pushed in there's a button on the other side you push it in it goes and it goes out <coughs> he was used to the video games like where you walk over something and you click he goes use drill again people don't know how to do stuff in real life anyways video games can be fun but learn how to do stuff in real life that's the point of this have a great day everybody bye bye